Hey y'all, welcome. And this video is going to be very different from my other content. As we're talking about beauty or hair, my very first passion, if you're, if you're familiar, if you've watched me on YouTube long before I started this channel, you know I talked about beauty, hair, makeup, all of that good stuff. So today I'm going to share a wig and it's from Gorgeous. And this is the Retro Barbie Yaki Street True Scalp Bang Wig. True Scalp has bangs and it's 14 inches. I can't stop touching it. It's Yaki Street. Oh man, wait till you hear about this. It's amazing. The thickness of it. Oh, the body. I'm sorry. I haven't had, I haven't worn a wig in a while. And yeah, I'm obsessed basically. So in this video, I'm going to show you an unboxing of the wig. I'm going to show you how to style it, how I style it, how quick and easy it is to put on. It takes less than three minutes to put on. You can go straight out the door if you want to, if you need to. But I did straighten it a little bit. I did chop a little more bang just to get a little more volume at the front, but it's totally unnecessary. So without further ado, if you'd like to see how and what your girl got on, keep on watching. All right, so excuse my hair. This is how we're starting out. You know, I just woke up. Well, I did my makeup afterwards, but I woke up. I didn't comb my hair on purpose. So I want to show you an unboxing of the gorgeous wig. And I'll have the name, the exact name of it on screen for you. So it comes in this nice box, holographic, as you saw. The entire box is holographic, really cute packaging. And then this is the wig and a nice silk pouch. And then it also comes with a wig cap, which we're going to be using. I'm glad it's this color. And it comes with this pouch, which has several things that you could use for wig application for a couple of things. So you have a couple of hair clips. You have some tweezers in case you need to tweeze, get like a part or something like that. There's an edge brush in here for your edges. I've never had an edge brush come with a wig and there's a wig strap too. I believe that's what this is. I'm not hundred percent because I'm not super experienced with this wig, but I want to show you guys how easy it is to apply it even if you don't have experience. If I didn't show you, there's some bobby pins as well. And these are some nice durable ones that are black in case you need to pin down the hair. Cute little pouch, very great for traveling, which I really like. So lo and behold, here's the wig in all its glory. I know y'all haven't seen me in dark hair on here. I don't think. I don't think I've ever had dark hair on this channel, but it's the first for everything, right? So now I'm gonna prep my hair. So this is how it is. I slept like this, basically. It flattened out, but it's not flat enough. I'm gonna take my top ponytail out or my little um, ball top. Hold on a second, I'm struggling. I need to be able to see. All right, so I took my ponytail out. Now I'm gonna take some water and wet my hair. Hopefully I don't get my shirt wet. I'm gonna start by wetting my hair. I have to do this in order to flatten it out because I have 4C textured hair. So the back is basically already flat. When we put the wig cap, it's gonna be flat. But it's just this top part that needs to go like this, you know? I'm gonna get my wig cap ready. So as soon as I get it flat, I can put this on here. So this actually comes with two wig caps. So you can have another. Or you can double it up if you have really thick hair, like I do. I'm only gonna use one though, it should work. And I have a boar bristle brush to brush my hair back. I'm getting my hair color touched up tomorrow, so do not come for me. <laughs> okay. Then I'm just gonna put my wig cap. I know a lot of people braid their hair down. I don't know how to do all of that. Like this is literally me unprofessional doing this, doing this and showing you. So keep that in mind, please don't come for me. So now I'm putting the wig cap on. I'm making my hair as flat as possible. It will not be perfect. And that's okay. Because my hair is so thick, I'm going to use two because I need this part to be flat. And if you need to, you can tie it down with like a set, like a, uh, a do-rag or something. That's like the trick I use to flatten my hair out more. One of these. So I'm actually gonna leave this on a few minutes. So I tie it as tight as possible. You see how that is now? It's still not as flat as, you know, but it's flatter than before. 
Like so. We'll keep that on a few minutes. While we wait, I'm gonna show you the actual wig. So here it is. Let me take the net off. So it is yakky texture as I, as I share it with you. So this should be flat enough. I don't want, I don't have to have it super flat. And I'm realistic because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I might have to get closer to my mirror. I'm kind of far away, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> you basically just pull it over. It has combs on the side, so it makes it easy. So I'm gonna pull it forward front. I mean, forward first, then sides, and then back, just to make sure it goes down as much as possible. Whoa, where's the back? There we go. So you wanna hold the top part while you do that, and then you just pull it and secure the comb. And you can kind of clip it underneath the wig cap. That's how I do it, just so it stays in place. And with Dallas Winds, I want to do that for sure, because my wig would be God knows where, on the ground somewhere. And people are like, what the hell? Having me in means and everything? Okay, so that's what it looks like on now. But of course, we have to straighten it. Oh, we got to straighten it a lot because my part is on the side. Why y'all ain't say nothing? Nice. I gotta twist the entire thing just because I don't want my blue hair showing. Just in the middle now. Easy install, super easy. Now, I'm just gonna take my comb and comb this out. All right, as you see, there's a true part there. Now I can pluck more if I want, but it's not necessary because it's a thick part. It's not one of those thin parts that a lot of wigs have. It's pretty thick. So I really like this. And I kind of pulled it back a little bit just so my bangs would be closer. I'm not as on my eyes, but I could do it a little more forward. Just to show you right quick. Now, before even styling, it looks good. Like if I don't have time to do anything, it's like straight out of the pack. It looks like this. And it's so silky smooth. Okay. I do have a flat iron because we got to do something to it, okay? Again, you girl not a professional. And I keep saying that because I want you all to know, even though you're not a professional stylist or you're not professional with wigs, how easy this is. It went on super quick. Like if I need to go outside, I could easily put a cap on here and just go, you know, if I need to. But I'm gonna actually comb this. So even without my hair being super flat, I wanna show y'all it, it, you know, yeah. Your girl got it going on. So now, ooh, it got hot quick. Ooh, I haven't used a flat iron in a while. <laughs> Seems like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna straighten it just to get it a little more crisp, just to kind of bump it on the ends, you know, like that. Totally unnecessary. Y'all know I'm a super fan of bone straight hair, so I'm gonna bump it a little bit. Just a little, you know, just a little. Look at that. Again, it's not gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna kind of section this off a little bit just to make it look fuller. Oops, got some long hair in there. Now, I'm not gonna uh, bump my bangs too much. I did not want those. See the difference that made just from bumping it a little bit? And I'm kind of going over it. I don't have to have it looking perfect. I prefer a slightly messier look. Just bump it a little bit. That's what I like about yakky straight textured hair. Um, I don't have to worry about knowing how to curl hair, which I also do not know how to do. I know, <laughs> but I never had to do that. So I never learned. But straight hair is super easy. But in the event you do like curly textured hair, they offer that. I'm gonna fix my bangs a little more. I need to get closer to my mirror. Let me see if I can actually, hold on a second. Much better. I'm gonna bump this a little bit just to give it a little. Yeah, there we go. Now because I've done it, I can pull, a, pull it a little more forward. Okay, there we go. We're getting it. Now that I can see. <laughs> I'm in love with this wig, man. Like, I don't want to color it, okay? Because I'm not, I, huh. I'm just, I'm getting so past darker hair. But if I need to go to a setting, I don't know, God forbid, I have to go back to work or something. 
this is what I would wear. I would not dye my hair again. Um, it's just so easy to throw on, easy to travel with too. If I had somewhere to go where I didn't want to really style my hair much, I was going to a more conservative, well, I've been to a more conservative country actually. I went to Saudi. <laughs> Whoa, with blue hair, which is insane. Everybody loves it, by the way. Um, okay. If I'm kneeling down, it's because my mirror is lower than me. Bangs. Let's see, there we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna brush it or comb it out just to kind of see how much better it looks just from bumping on a little bit. You don't have to do that though. I prefer actually a more straight look. All right, so this is the final hair. I just can't get over it. Like other wigs I've had in the past shed so much. This has only shed very little. So I'm very impressed with this. Like you can look at my shirt now, it's not much hair at all. It's a few strands, but it's not obscene. You know what I mean? So this is the final look. I'm so excited to rock this. I will be rocking this in some videos because there are a lot of days I don't feel like doing anything to my hair and I have to do something to my hair and ooh, it's a mess. Um, Overall, I'm very happy with this hair. I think it looks very natural on me, especially with this. Like I said, you could definitely pluck more hairs out if you want, but it's totally not necessary, up to you. I'm just glad it comes with that for people like me that don't know a damn thing about no hair. <laughs> but yeah, down the line, I might get a few more bangs cut. Actually, I might can do that now. I'm gonna do it now, actually, just to show you. So again, do not come for me, but I'm gonna have to use some lash scissors. I do not have shears. I have scissors, but I know damn well I'm not gonna do that on camera. So I just basically combed a little more hair to the front just so I could have more bangs because I like thick bangs. And I just want to show you how easy that is to do. However, I recommend you use shears. You don't want to cut too much, so I'm just gonna put a few hairs here. Make sure my hair is still thick. Yep, yeah, it is. So I didn't cut too much. I just wanted to add a little more bang. Really, I don't have to. Let me see what happens if I just comb it because I've already straightened it. Just want to see how it does. I can pull it apart. So it can be natural. Fluff it out. And I'm just gonna take this and bump it one more time, just for good measure. As I mentioned, you can control how short and how long you want your bangs, but I'm obsessed with this hair. I love it. Even though it's dark, I love it. I love the quality. It's not too thin. I have thick hair, so I do not want my wigs to have thin hair. I just don't. So let me show you a final look again, since I have redone my wigs or my bangs. There's the lace, very natural looking, right? My bangs are nice and cool looking. So let me just share with you the final look again. Just because I'm in mean, love. Let's look at that body. Ooh, look at it. Okay. I need one of those turntables. You know how they stand still on Instagram and then they're like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <sighs> yeah, I don't have one of those. I need one, but this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out Gorgeous for their wigs. They have tons to choose from. I'll have a link down in the description bar where you can get this wig and check out the rest of their offerings. They have tons to choose from, tons of different textures, lengths, all of that. So I will leave another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.